Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to talk about breaking witchcraft curses and at the end of this video I am going to pray specific prayers to break witchcraft curses um, off of your finances, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so basically the first thing uh, that I want to talk about is how do we actually break uh, witchcraft curses, uh, curses that are from occult members. Um, how do we break these type of curses? First of all, you have to have, whoever can break them successfully, you have to have authority from God, the God that created everything, basically. Everything that you look out and you see outside, the God that created that, the God that even created the powers uh, of uh, the world, the power that the occult people are actually using the God that created all of that. He is the one that has power over all of that. He has the ultimate power. So in order for you to get that type of power broken off of you, occult power, curses, witchcraft curses, you have to have a power higher than that to remove that power, okay? And so this type of power and authority comes from the God that created all things. Okay, so that's number one. That is the only way you can get curses, witchcraft curses, occult curses. That is the only way you can get these things off of you. There's no other way. No matter what people say, salt and all of that stuff, that stuff does not work. Um, the God of all creation, he is the only one that can remove this stuff from you. So first of all, if you are not a believer in uh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and Jacob, if you don't have a relationship with him through his son that he actually sent to the earth to save the earth so that we can be free from all of this, uh, these powers uh, that are attacking us and controlling us and um, doing all of these evil things in the world. The only way we can be free from that type of power, we have to have a relationship with the God that created all things. So, uh, if you don't actually have a relationship with the Heavenly Father through His Son, Jesus, I will link my video that I have about salvation because you have to enter into that relationship with Him so He can actually break these things off of you. That's the only way. So, I'll link a video that I have that you can actually enter into that relationship with Him. Okay, so the thing about the spiritual realm is, uh, the spiritual realm is way more powerful than the natural realm. Okay, uh, the spiritual realm actually is first before the natural realm. Things are created in the spiritual realm first before it's actually created in the natural realm. So that's why they can actually do certain things to us in the spiritual realm and it manifests in the natural realm. You know, uh, whatever part of you they're attacking, um, you know, it will manifest in the natural realm. Okay, so some of the things that are spiritual things, our words are spiritual things, even our thoughts are spiritual things. And these two things just by themselves, our words and our thoughts, they actually create the world that we live in. You know, when you think on certain things too long, whether it's evil or good, it creates everything around you. If you're focused on negative things all the time, your atmosphere is going to be negative. You're probably going to be violent if you're focusing on violent thoughts and fearful thoughts and, um, you know, hurtful thoughts, you're going to react. You know, you're going to react that. You're going to react angry. You're going to react violent. You're going to react happy. You're going to react, uh, you know, at peace. Whatever you're focusing on, whatever you're thinking on constantly in your mind, it's going to create your atmosphere. Even, um, even your thoughts are so powerful that they can create things within your body. They create emotions in your body. They can even create sickness in your body. You know, so your thoughts actually create also. And our words create. You can speak something over someone. You can speak negative things over your children and you can curse your children or you can actually speak uh, positive things over them and actually bless them. With your mouth you can do cursing or you can do blessing. So is something happening in the spiritual realm when you speak in order for those words to actually go upon someone and curse someone or for those words to uh, go upon someone and bless them. It's something happening in that realm. Whether you see it or not, it's happening. So your words and your thoughts actually create 
the world that we live in. So with witches and warlocks and occult members, whenever they are seeking to attack you or attack to, you know, to attack your finances, whatever they're seeking to do, they have to actually access the spiritual realm to get the power, to get everything that they're about to do. They access that realm and they may not know it. Some of them probably know it. Some of them may not know that they're accessing that realm and it's the demonic realm. They're accessing demons uh, to get this type of power and you know sending these demonic spirits out to attack people so uh, they access a realm that is demonic it's a totally pure evil realm and they access that so they're tapping into powers that are evil to attack us so the way we actually get these attacks off because they are accessing a demonic a evil a power from uh, the spiritual realm and what we have to do, our God is the creator of all the spiritual realms, everything. He created everything. And so he uh, has to remove those attacks because they're in the spiritual realm. And they're, you know, the power is from the spiritual realm. So he has to remove those attacks from us, okay? So we're going to start out um, uh, with that. All right, so as you know, you know, they could attack us in so many different areas, your body, your mind, your finances, <laughs> which is terrible that they can do so much stuff. Uh, they can attack your destiny. Um, even they can curse your atmosphere. They can put curses on so many things. They can send demonic spirits to your body to attack your body with sickness and disease, headaches, um, you know, uh, confusion, fear. Uh, demonic emotions you know they'll send demonic spirits to to a person to attack them and the demonic spirits are uh, attacking us attacking our bodies and so the thing about when they send demonic spirits um, whenever you are a born-again Christian you have authority over those demonic spirits you can use the name of Jesus and those demonic spirits have to leave you alone um, but if they are not using the demonic spirits and let's say if, you know, like with your finances, there's so many um, different things and ways that they can attack you in your finances. I'm going to share a few of those uh, with you. But when they are attacking your finances, they will do it a different way than when they are attacking your body. Or when they are attacking, um, let's say, your mind. You know, they can do it a different way. There's so many ways that they can actually attack you. And so when I was telling you that whenever you are a born-again believer, a born-again Christian, you have authority over the demonic spirits. But the terrible thing about it is that you don't have authority over another human. You know, you can't command another human to stop attacking you. You can command the demonic spirits in Jesus' name to, you know, uh, to be removed uh, you can command them to leave. You can rebuke them. It's a lot of stuff that you can do in Jesus' name. But you can't do those things to a human. So if a human is attacking you constantly, 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 you know, they're in your dreams. You know, they're doing stuff to you. Um, you know, they're trying to initiate you um, and, and trying to attack your spirit, man, or your mind or your heart. Um, it's not much you can do about that, you know, in the natural realm. So that's where God God comes in, you know, because he has to take care of the humans. You know, we have authority over the demonic spirits, but he takes care of the humans. We don't go and try to do anything violent to the humans. Yeah, you're putting curses on me. I'm going to, you know, attack you. We don't do that. Um, God takes care of that. He fights out those battles for us. He's given us authority to take care of the little demonic spirits, and he fights um, the other battles. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about some of the, the places, uh, some of the type of attacks and curses um, that we can experience. Attacks and curses on our body, our mind, our finances, our heart, our destiny, our bloodline, uh, the atmosphere around us. Even, you know, curses and things can be on objects, things, our possessions, things that we have. They can actually put curses on those things. So the point that I'm trying to make is curses could actually be on everything. Um, anything that you have, it could be cursed. They could do something to it. They could attack it. And, um, you know, so I'm going to share, uh, in this video, we're going to focus on one thing. I'm going to do other videos by different areas that could be cursed. And we're going to remove those curses off those areas. 
So today, what I wanted to focus on removing a curse off of uh, today, the uh, attacks on finances. I wanted to focus on uh, money today. And uh, because money, basically, we need money. We need money to eat. We need money to drink. We need money to have clothes. We need money to have a place to stay. We need money to pay bills. Um, we need money to uh, have transportation to get to point A and point B. You know, there's we need money for personal things. We need money is, you know, it's impossible to survive in this earth without money. And so they know this. They know this, you know, this is serious when you're attacking someone's money. So that's one of the things that they will attack and they know it hits us hard. So that's the reason why I wanted to focus on this today. Um, uh, some of the attacks that um, the Lord has revealed to me that uh, they can attack our money is so many. Um, honestly, I may write a list of all the different types of attacks that uh, they would they have to attack our, our money. I mean, it would take some time for me to write out everything, but it's so many ways that they can attack our money. I'm going to share uh, six ways. Uh, today and then I'm going to pray uh, for two two of these areas. I'm going to pray for two of them um, uh, today uh, to remove uh, witchcraft curses and occult curses uh, from your finances. So one of the ways that they can actually attack our finances, and they have attacked my fi finances in this area too, is uh, it's called a vault. It's like a, a, a demonic bank, I guess you could say. It's like a vault. Um, you know, if you go to a bank and they have the vaults where they have all the money and everything stored back there in the spiritual realm, they have vaults that they, they can actually take your finances and my finances and lock them in this vault. And you're wondering why when they do this, your finances don't flow. It's like they stop and, you know, um, you don't have any money <laughs> coming and it, it just may be just enough. Like if you're a believer, the Lord's going to take care of you. You're going to have everything that you need, but that those finances are going to be tied up. You're just going to have just enough uh, to, you know, to survive. Um, and then the next thing that they can do, they can put blocks on your finances, which basically are like walls. It stops them from flowing. Like if a wall is on your finances, they stop. They don't flow freely. They hit that wall and it stops them from flowing you know it hinders them from flowing to you so the finances aren't really flowing that good to you okay then the next thing um, this one is pretty serious you know if they're doing this to your finances it's pretty serious but the next one is they can bury your money in the ground in the demonic realm the place where they do all of their stuff they can actually get your money and bury it in the demonic realm and then what happens when they get your money and bury it in the demonic realm what they actually do to it they destroy your finances that's how they destroy your finances and um and this is really really crazy because um you have to be very very careful who you give money to okay if you if uh a or, you know, who you receive money and receives. Who you give money to or give gifts or give things to. And who you receive money from and receive gifts from. Because the way they do it is that if you give them the money, they will take that money. It's attached to you. And they will uh, um, take it in the spiritual realm. And they will bury it. And then your finances are destroyed. Okay, then if they are giving you money, let's say if they're donating money into your ministry, if you're in ministry, or if they come to your house and bring you food and try to feed you, or if they give you a gift or, you know, on Christmas or even just bring you a gift, you know how people give you gifts and stuff, then what they're doing, that object, whatever they have cursed, it already has a curse on it and you bring it into your home and it curses your finances and they can actually when you bring it into your home they have access to come in and get your finances and take it into in the demonic realm because you're cursed and plus you come into a covenant with them uh, you made a contract with them when you accepted that gift it's like you come into agreement with them when you accept things from them so you have to be very careful who you receive things 
uh, from and you have to be very careful who you give things to because that's how they can get your finances. They can put them in vaults and they can bury them and they can block them from flowing, okay? So then the next thing that the Lord actually revealed to me is called they could fund it. And basically what we were talking about, they take your finances basically and they steal it from you. And then what they do, they take it put it in the demonic realm, and then they start using your finances. It's almost like a, a thief. You know, I call them spiritual thieves. <laughs> spiritual thieves, like in the natural realm, they break in your house and they steal your stuff and they go and they use it or they sell it. Now, they can take your money, but they take it from the natural realm, take it in the, the spiritual realm, and then they take it back. And then they start using it. They start spending it. All of a sudden, you know, they're, you know, they have all this money. <laughs> now, I don't know, like, uh, how they do a lot of this stuff, but they really do know a lot of stuff. These demonic spirits are teaching them the, um, how everything actually works in the spirit realm. That's why, as being Christians, we have to learn a lot of this stuff because they know all of this stuff, and we're kind of sitting around. We don't know anything. And, uh, but the next thing that the Lord actually uh, revealed to me that they can actually do, they can control your money 100%. And uh, this is what he told me about this. The way they control your money, they take your money into the demonic realm and they put conditions on your money. And so this is an example uh, that the Lord gave me. Like, um, let's say if conditions is on the money, then they can, um, the money can only be used, let's say the conditions can be, the, only, the money can only be used for bad things. You know, the money can't be used for anything good. Now, this is something that the Lord actually told me. This is what the devil himself, whenever people uh, um, sell their souls to him, he will give them money, fame, and all of this stuff. But the thing about it is that money that he gives them, they can't go out and do good deeds and give it, you know, sow seeds into, you know, lives. Uh, you know, can't give it to uh, churches unless they're going to do something bad with it, unless they're going to... Uh, uh, um, give a donation to a church to curse the church you know they can't go out and do good stuff with that money because he he puts conditions on it so this is another thing that the money can actually be in that realm where uh, it could have conditions where you know you can't do anything good with that money that's terrible you know so the Lord was just revealing so many other things that they can actually do with money in the spiritual realm and um, you know so many other things and so but what today I want to do is pray for those if your money is in a vault if your money is in a vault I want to pray for you today tomorrow um, I'm gonna record another video but tomorrow I am gonna post uh, the prayer on removing uh, your money that has been buried in the ground in uh, the demonic realm and the spiritual realm, okay? So today we're going to pray that your finances, that your money, and, you know, everything that they have uh, in this vo uh, vault, this demonic vault, we're going to ask the Lord to remove it. So if you are ready, we'll go ahead and get started. And what I want you to do, it's really, really important if you need to pause this video. Um, anytime you're doing these type of prayers, spiritual warfare prayers, breaking off curses, doing all of this stuff, you have to get totally focused on God because He is the one that's going to be doing all of this stuff for you. Okay? So you have to focus on Him. Get to a place where you can worship. Turn on some worship music. Sing to Him for a little bit. Just get your focus and your attention all on Him before I... Uh, before you listen to this prayer, okay? You can pause this video, worship Him, spend some time with Him, focus on Him, think about how uh, great He is, all the good stuff that He's been doing in your life, in your family's life, taking care of you, protecting you, feeding you, doing all of that stuff. Try to focus on all of those good things. Um, then push play on this video, okay? Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is pray that every demonic stronghold that is on your mind, every person that's watching this video, every demonic stronghold, every demonic attack, 
Heavenly Father, I ask that you remove every demonic stronghold from each person's mind. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you remove those demonic strongholds from their mind. Father, I ask that you remove those demonic attacks from their minds. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you remove the demons that are attacking their minds. Demonic spirits of confusion. Demonic spirits of fear. Demonic spirits of hate. Demonic spirits of unforgiveness. Demonic spirits of jealousy. Demonic spirits of envy, demonic spirits of strife. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, I ask that you remove those demonic spirits from their minds, Father, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, bless your holy name. Heavenly Father, I ask that uh, the vaults where the, your people's money, finances are there, Father, their possessions, Father, all their jewels, their gold, their silver, um, all their blessings, everything that is tied up in these vaults, Heavenly Father, I ask that you open up the door of the vaults, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Each vault, Father, each vault uh, where their finances is tied up, Father, I ask that you open up the door to each one of the vaults in the spiritual realm, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, I ask that you go inside each one of the vaults, Father, I ask that you gather all of their possessions, all of their gold, all of their silver, everything that's stored up in those vaults, Father, the money, the finances, Lord. I ask that you go in the vaults, I ask that you gather all their finances, all their money, all their possessions that's in that vault, Father, I ask that you gather it all up in the name of Jesus, Father, and I ask that you remove everything from those vaults in Jesus' name. And Father, bless your holy name. Thank you so much, Lord. And Father, I ask that everything that you've gathered from those vaults, Heavenly Father, I ask that everything that you've gathered from those vaults, Heavenly Father, I ask that you take them uh, in the spiritual realm, the place where you are, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask that you take them where you are and keep them there with you, that you keep them safe, that you protect their finances and their possessions and their gold, their silver, all of their belongings, Father. I ask that you... Keep them there in the spiritual realm where you are, Father, and keep them safe in Jesus' name. Okay, so in my next video, I'm gonna, um, we're going to uh, remove all your finances and everything that has been buried uh, in the ground. We're going to remove, get all of that up, get it out of the ground, and actually give it to the Lord and let Him keep it safe also for you. And like I said, what you need to do, there's things you need to do to keep your finances safe. Be very careful who you give money to. Pray. If it's a strange person, you know, ministries, strange people, pray and ask the Lord. Seek Him fast. Whatever you got to do before you start giving money out, um, you know, to people. And if if your finances get tied up again, they get locked, you know, locked in a vault again. Just play this video again, and you know, the same thing. The Lord is there with you. He'll do it uh, for you. Um, but be very careful who you accept money and gifts from and be very careful who you give money and gifts to, okay? Because you can be coming into agreement or contract with the witches and warlocks or a cult member. So, but like I said, your finances, finances could always be removed from these vaults again if they get locked up. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to uh, remove everything that was buried in the ground. So have a great day. God bless.